everyone and welcome back to another Unfiltered Gamer board game setup video sponsored by The Game Crafter. Today's video series, we're going to continue doing Days of Discovery, this game here that plays from one to six players. It has a solo mode variant, which we'll show you the setup for, as well as the two or more player setup. So let's go ahead and get into it. Like I showed you before, we have these player reference cards, and no matter the number of players in the game, you're going to be giving everybody one of these cards. So in the solo player variant, give one of these out. Then these guys here, this entire pool, is going to be dealt out face up from the highest number to lowest number, represent presented uh, up here it tells you one two it goes all the way down here as well as at the bottom left it's going to say solo so i'll go ahead and put the king of portugal out then the queen the bishop the merchant the nobleman and the knight templar these are your sponsors and you're going to get one before you go on your voyage because there are three acts in this game the first one is you need to secure a sponsor then you need to gather a crew of and supplies and then finally you need to prepare for the segment all right, so now we're gonna go ahead and take out this deck here in the solo mode gameplay. This is pretty much all you need for the setup because every turn five of these guys will come out and you'll be able to select through them to try and gain your sponsors. So just to show you this up for the first single player mode, this is exactly how it's going to look. When you're playing with more than one player in the two and three player modes, the amount of sponsors will be X plus one, X being the number of players playing the game. So in a two player game, three of these will be dealt out. You're gonna take these guys, you're going to shuffle them up, and then you're going to deal them up randomly. X plus one. So if playing a two player game, this is three. And then you're gonna organize them based on the number in the bottom left hand corner. So it looks something like that. They have the king, the queen, and then the knight templar. And then everybody is also going to get three cards face up in front of them. These are going to be the cards they start off with in their tableau, which they're going to be hopefully utilizing to gain their sponsors with. When of course you're playing with a three player game, it's always, it's still just the rule of X plus one, meaning you're gonna deal out another one. But whenever you're playing with four or more players, you're simply gonna go ahead and add all the sponsors to them. Just remember that you're going to make sure that it's not the solo side of the sponsors and give everybody their three cards to start with. And that's pretty much the setup for the game. You got your five cards out here for your tableau uh, that you're gonna be gaining for your tableau that you start with three. Everybody's gonna have one of these player reference cards. And then your sponsors will be dealt out based on the number of players. And of course, with the solo side up if you're playing with just a single player variant of the game. And that is Days of Discovery's setup. Fairly simple, but it actually has a lot of complexity. And there are three different variants, so three different um, acts to the game that are completely different and are us using different parts of the card, whether it be the top left-hand portion, the bottom left-hand portion, or even the right-hand side facing this way to gain these victory points, which is what you need to win the game. But anyway, that is the setup for the game. Tune in next week, where we will then show you how to play the game with our playthrough of the game. And then finally, I'll give you my review. Thanks for watching, guys. And as always, I look forward to talking to you next time. Also, go down below if you're already interested in the game and pick it up on The Game Crafter.